Good morning. Kate and Fiona here from Core Confidence. And today we're talking about the impact of every single action and how that brings us closer to our goals. Yeah, I think for me this one, um, you know, all action gives us information. Uh, many of us either procrastinate on decisions um, or procrastinate on taking action. Is this, the, is this the right decision? Should I do this, 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 and this? Should I do nothing? Um, and, and so even once we get past that hurdle of what's the right thing to do, um, of course, you've then got to do something to cement the decision. So this piece around um, actually either making a decision and then taking action, which really um, cements the decision, which is a really good red flag in terms of inaction, um, but all action gives us information. On the other side of action, there is information, whether that's uh, feedback from someone, whether that's evidence that something did or didn't work, whether that's your own feeling in terms of, oh, that felt good or didn't feel good. All of these sorts of things give us information and all information is good. It will give us signals to keep moving in, in that direction or to do more of the same thing. It will give us signals that actually, oh, you're on the wrong track or this doesn't feel good um, or it's not being received well. You need to pause and rethink. But all of that is progress. Yes, I love this. And it sits so strongly with one of the fundamental tenets of our work, with the, which is that the act of confidence comes before the feeling of confidence. And so often when we're in that you know, prick barricading, you know, will I, won't I, you know, not making decisions and not taking action. We're stopping ourselves from action, from the thing that would give us the momentum to actually do the next thing. So what we always encourage people is take that small act, do something now today, step into it, even if it goes wrong, even if it goes what feels terribly wrong to you, that will actually give you really valuable intel that will allow you to make a new choice and a new action from that. So this piece about there's really nothing that can um, stand in your way or really can go so badly that you wouldn't be able to recover from it. It's just a story we're telling ourselves. It's just something that we've, we've gone down a rabbit hole of thinking something you know, insurmountable would be the result if I did something wrong. And that's just not the truth or not how we've seen it play out time and time again. Yeah, I think, um, uh, you know, the piece of like fail fast, I think, is it, you know, get in, if it's going to go wrong, you want it to go wrong quickly so that you can come up with a solution um, and, and go again. And so I think there's a big piece here um, that we need to dig into around our fear of failure and, and reframing failure as feedback. Um, and as a learning opportunity, uh, but this piece around, um, particularly when you're in that frustration cycle or the procrastination, do something. It doesn't have to be a huge act of confidence, right? It can be a small thing, but as long as it moves us from a state of um, kind of standing still, this, you know, this inertia, as long as it moves us just a little bit forward, to put us in a new position, to give us a new perspective, to give us new bits of information that says, okay, um, now where, where do I go to from here? Or yep, uh, it, it, that, that little bit of information that actually goes, yep, keep going. Let's repeat that. Let's keep going. So I think um, this piece, the act of confidence comes before the feeling of confidence. It's the number one um, I guess, philosophy, there's lots of um, key points and philosophies in the Core Confidence book and, of course, in the Acts of Confidence program. Um, but I think this piece, if you're not sure, if some of that, um, if you're feeling like you've got weaker confidence or you're not feeling as confident as you'd like, the message is what is the small act of confidence you need to take today that will move you forward from where you are right now, that will give you some more information, whether that's verbal information, information from yourself, uh, information from someone else, that'll just give you more information that, allow, that will allow you to make a new decision and to take a new action. Of course, we know that it's actions that are repeated consistently over time that help us achieve our career goals and our life goals. Yes, so if you enjoyed this today, please share this with your uh, friends and colleagues. Uh, we'd love to hear any comments you have. And if you would like to hear more about our work with Core Confidence, go to coreconfidence.com.au.